Alrighty. Well, let's do this. Hi everyone, I'm Nancy and welcome back to my channel. To my viewers, my subscribers, thank you guys so much for taking a few minutes out of your day to spend with me. It means more to me than I can ever let you know. So thank you so much from the bottom of my heart. If you're new to my channel, I hope you would take a quick second, hit that little subscribe button over there. I would love to have you come back and join us for future videos. Today we are going to do an awkward an awkward video not sure how this is going to go online part of the beauty is getting ready before you do a video is nobody sees the mess ups that you make so this should be interesting to see if i can do this on camera or not so we are going to show how i pin this mop up and try put try some wigs on i got a few of my favorites here i got four wigs to try on from timu and yeah so let's just get started shall we so anyway my hair was washed this morning other than brushing it of course i do have to dye it again that's funny how it goes like every four or six weeks but anyway this is what my mop looks like i would love to try to brush this out and do it nice for you let me try at least try to get this part down right but if i brush it it's just going to get bigger and bigger and bigger so first what i do is i take some big bobby pins and i'm going to just kind of take this right here pin it back put a big bobby pin in like that to try to hold that down got another big one here and we'll do the same on this side just kind of pin that down now usually what i do is i just try to separate it like i'm going to do two ponytails and i just kind of take one and i'm just going to try to twist it a little bit to try to grab some of the little hairs in the back and this is where because I cut like nine inches off my hair a couple of nights ago yeah I haven't been to a place that professionally does my hair in a long time and I'm just going to twist it put it up there to hold it and then I'm going to take this other one do the same thing I'm just going to try to twist it try to grab some of those little hairs back there and put it up here and of course if you have shorter hair it's much easier than that but if you have longer hair like i've been doing this for a while just like this and it gets gets it up gets it out of the way now some people say you put a ponytail in the back but if you got a long hair then it gives you like a big bump back there um i use one of these little stocking caps and i'm just going to put it over just to try to hold things in put it up a little bit have my ears sticking out again just try to stick anything loose under there and that's as easy as that is and that helps kind of keep this nice and flat so i picked four of my favorite wigs this one you see me do quite a while and this one is the shorter one and sometimes if i've done a couple like wig changes if i started with one tried something else on and then go to this i have to take breaks in between to try to tuck that hair up with the shorter ones so normally what i do if i haven't taken worn it in a while because i usually just keep these in the bags that they came in and I just kind of shake it, kind of loosen it up again. Now these ones have this little strip right here in the back and then these little tabs right here so that you can make it so that it's tighter. And then there's like little loops in through here that you're gonna put it in. So let me just grab some. I never know exactly sure where to put it because I'm only, I'm not wearing them all day long most of the time um, that I'm just of course, I probably need my glasses on to see what I'm doing here. But anyway, when you're just doing a video here and there, it doesn't, as long as it doesn't fall off, and then just put them right here on each side. And this front part right here, you're just going to put it on like you're putting on a bathing cap. Well, I don't know if anybody wears bathing caps anymore, but remember in the old days when we would go swimming or take a shower, we're going to put it on like that, give it a little stretch in the back, I just kind of tuck my fingers underneath to make sure that I don't have any loose hair sticking out. Take my ears out and there's like these little tabs that you can really hardly see and you just kind of move them around to adjust it a little bit and I just kind of push them in a little bit. This part right here you're just kind of going to go up to where you like your natural hairline is and then just kind of most of the time I try to 
finger finger it to put it in place and then and that's basically how it goes if you get a mirror you can see what you're doing a little bit better because when you look in the monitor you did like doing things backwards at least on mine it is and anyway either just take a comb like this or I've got like picks that I can use I actually have a wire one but not exactly sure what I did with it and so that's like the first one that I put on you can kind of put it behind your ears if you want like that to have your ears showing a little bit more or brush it back like that let me put my glasses on to see how it looks my comb just fell so anyway that is the first one that I did and of course if you want to put a fascinator right here or a hat so that's the first one let me grab my stuff and I'll get the uh, the second wig to try on Alrighty, so we got the second wig and this is one of my favorites so it's got that it's a little bit longer length a little shorter in the back it's got a little bit longer hair in the front this one has bangs I didn't really trim the bangs so I just kind of sweep them off to the side and it's got that ombre effect so again we're going to do the same thing I'm just going to hold it upside down just kind of shake it a little bit like that let those fibers get a little loose and again it's got that strip right there in the back and those little tabs or hooks that I put there so same thing I'm going to go into it like I'm putting on a bathing cap pull it back over the back of my head take my ears out there's these little tabs on the side that you just kind of wiggle it so you think that you got it straight and I just kind of push them in push this up to like where my natural hairline is put my glasses on so I can see what I'm doing this time Phew, it's hot and then just kind of brush it out whether you use your fingers to do this if you have a wig brush or a pick and I'm just going to comb it out so I probably should take that off so I can try to figure out these bangs right and on these, this one, and it's not going to be perfect because I'm not in front of the mirror. I just take these little bobby pins right here. This one, try to grab most of this right here. Just to kind of get it out of my eyes. And I'll do the same on the other side. And again, I'm just going to tuck that in. Get the loose hairs out of my face. I'm just going to give it a quick little brush right here. Again, I, I love this one. This is just like one of my favorites to wear. Alrighty, so we got that done. Is that easy? Nice and neat. Now, the only times that I've really had trouble with wigs staying on my head is my Wednesday Adam wig. And I have no idea what that one is. I know it's got the braids in the back and maybe it's got that weight back there. So I got this little stretchy thing that's ribbed. And I just kind of, this one's really hard to put on. So I just kind of stretch it get it over my head. I've already got my wig cap on and I'll put it about right here, maybe a little higher. And that's been helping hold that Wednesday Adams wig in. I think maybe I've done it like two or three times with this and it did not slip at all. So anyway, next, let's do this long wig one over here. So I'm going to take this off and I'll be right back. Alrighty, so let's do this long wig. So this, it's a little bit lighter inside, so maybe you can see what I'm talking about right here. On the back of the wig, at least these ones from Timu, I'm, I'm sure expensive wigs have a different way of doing it. But anyway, it's got these like ribbons right here, and you got this hook, and you just put it in between one of the ribbons. So let's do this one. And this one's a little bit longer. Now, I've heard different ways of taking care of them, and I did buy... Um, um, wig shampoo and wig conditioner and then later on I said someone said yeah just you know because this is all synthetic fiber it's not real hair at all that you really just kind of just so I use like a capful or less of shampoo put it in a bowl with some cool water and then I put the wig in there and I just kind of like in a big bowl and I just let it soak for a little bit I don't wring it out or anything so I just kind of let it sit in the bowl like that then I take it out rinse it under the water get the suds out and then I just kind of like squeeze 
going like here. And then I'll put some more water in a bowl. And instead of conditioner, what I'm using is downy. Because I say since it is a synthetic fiber, that the downy, any kind of clothes softener uh, like that, or like woolite, anything like that, is what you can use to help condition it and keep it nice. And yeah, it smells nice and fresh too after. So that's what I do when they start to look a little, ugh, you know. But anyway, these are all ones that I've got from Timu. The prices have really been amazing. So again, this is a long one. Just kind of shook it out. Again, we're just going to put it on like a bathing cap. I left my glasses on, so we'll see how that goes. I pull it all the way in the back, put my fingers underneath just to make sure that I've got like the netting and anything else done. I'm going to have to take my glasses off because it gets in the way. Again, I take my ears out, find those little tabs, kind of adjust it, stretch it, kind of tuck them in. I go up underneath, just kind of push it up to where I think my natural hairline is. And then usually if I'm just in the bathroom or something with a big mirror, then I will just kind of finger, finger it to put it in place. Take the comb or my wire brush that I have in there. And of course I just messed up my bangs. Just kind of comb it out a little bit. And this goes so much better with a pick to kind of just kind of comb it out. Get some tangles out. And again, you just kind of do it gently, just like you were doing maybe your, your child's hair so you don't make them cry. If you get a little star, snarl, you just go a little bit lower than the snarl. And just do it like this. And again, because this one you could probably take it someplace or if you knew what you were doing, you could have the bangs trimmed. But again, I'm just, I'm just here for fun. I'm putting it on. I grabbed a big bobby pin by mistake that's not the best one that I did and again just just kind of put it off to the side or again if you know what you're doing you can have you can cut the bangs yourself or you can take it to a beauty parlor I really don't think they would charge you that much to put the wig on and just kind of customize it to where you would need it and again just kind of brush it loose like that. I should probably fix this one right. I should probably fix that one. Of course now I can't get my bobby pin out. But again these are just so much fun to wear for me. And you saw what my hair looked like before. It didn't always look like that. So unless I put it back in a big ponytail or a messy bun or when I do get my hair cut, and I haven't been in so long, but I've donated my hair for maybe the last 30 years, whenever I would go to get my hair cut. And, but it is such a lot of work. I would get it. Yeah, it's much easier to do when you're in the other room. But yeah, so it's, but then when I do have short hair, then I've got to style it and blow dry it. And yeah, it's a lot of work when it's short. When it's like this, it's just so much easier to just kind of put it up on top of my head, have a messy bun, and then on days that I want to film or do something fun like that, put a wig on. So I got my favorite, one of my favorites over here, my Dolly Parton wig. So let's take a second, put that one on, shall we? I'll be right back. Alrighty. So again, this is one of my favorites. This is like a fun wig. You know, it's kind of maybe reminds me, was it the 70s? Uh, early to mid 70s we had like that shag hairstyle and Farrah Fawcett and just had all these layers and it was just a lot of fun back then and because I had hair that would do whatever I wanted it to back then and maybe you know chalk it up to heart medications and cancer and COVID and who knows what else if I can blame something on COVID I can blame it on COVID so I don't know if that had something to do with my hair changing like that but anyway these wigs just make it so much fun from Timu. They are, all these wigs are from Timu. I've got, I've got more too, but they are just so much fun to kind of change out, changes your look, changes your mood. It's like maybe putting on different jewelry or earrings or different color eyeglasses or how people have like lenses for their, their eyes to give their eyes different color and eyeshadows. It's just fun to kind of accessorize, give yourself a new look, have a little bit of fun while we can, right? 
and the prices of these wigs are all amazing i mean they have you know wigs on timu that are more expensive they've got wigs that are made with human hair i stick to these little synthetic ones and because i'm just wearing them for fun so my the prices that i've been paying is anywhere from like 6.99 to like 12 or 13 dollars most of them are like seven to nine dollar range and yeah so just a little bit of fun hope i explained enough um, how easy it is to tuck your hair up no matter what kind of hair you have if you've got short short hair you could even do that little ponytail in the back or just kind of pin it back with bobby pins just try to keep it as flat as you can longer hair like this you just kind of do what i did you kind of separate it get it off your face split it into two ponytails crisscross them and then wrap them on your head like that and you are good to go so anyway this was a lot of fun it's hot changing wigs in the same place so anyway i want to thank you guys so much for stopping in spending some time with me if you have any questions let me know or i can try to find the links for these ones they they change quite a bit but just kind of doing searches on wigs you're going to be amazed there are thousands there has to be thousands and sometimes you'll see the same wig but it's by different um suppliers different vendors so they've got different prices and again once they come through and you've got them ordered and there's a price reduction within 30 days you're going to see that when you check your detail order details get some lower prices on them makes it even funner so anyway thank you guys so much i hope you all go out have a fabulous fabulous day take care everyone stay safe be kind be happy enjoy life have some fun love you guys so much and we will see you in our next video bye bye